What's up guys, Tim Wilson from Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to the Golf Club 2 and welcome back to event number 5 in Four Nations. We're going to jump straight in and uh, see what we've got in here. I know which course we're playing, I'm sure if you've been following myself and the other three guys over the last few days, you know we are playing a course called Dunelm Manor, I think it's called. Let's just get this out of the way, this is the previous... Uh, the previous event. Uh, there we go. Dunholm Manor Golf Club. Now, this, I believe, um, this was, well, not I believe, this was uh, Catholos 1991's choice. This is event number five. The next one we've got coming up will be a, another Defend Your Turf event. I'm not going to tell you at this point where it is being held. This is the second Defend Your Turf that is coming up after this event. Um, Dunholm Manor Golf and Country Club apparently is a really accurate representation of the K Club in Ireland. So, Catholos 1991 chose this one having played the course, having been to the course in real life. He decided that this was going to be his recommendation, his choice for the RCR for this week. So we're going to jump straight in. I have to say, I'm not feeling confident about this round. Um, I haven't played particularly well on this course. I've yet to have, have a bogey-free round. It is a tough, tough course. And if the wind is up, let's have a quick look. Not too bad. That's the lowest wind I've had. Every single round that I've played so far has had double figures wind on every single hole so pretty pleased with six mile an hour wind it's whether i can actually capitalize on that now everybody's going to have the same wind that's a given i've just come off the back of the practice round wasn't incredibly great um wasn't terrible but wasn't great i wanted to get a practice round in i believe i'm the first to actually play this this week which is unusual i'm i'm normally third or last so I'm going to get my round in and that's, it's quite good actually to not have the, the expectation or the knowledge of what the guys have shot in the past. I'm just going to play my round and whatever will be, will be. If I shoot a under par round, that's always one of my main aims. The first aim is obviously if you guys have watched any of my videos in previous channels, you know that I am aiming for a bogey free round and secondly, anything under par. Um, I don't think anything under par is quite going to cut it at the moment. Not the way that uh, Corhill's playing, but um, we'll we'll put a round together and see how it goes. Let's uh, let's get this round underway. And that's not the way to start a round. And it did hit the tree, but I think we're going to be in the fairway. That is not as bad as I thought it was going to be after hitting the tree. Maybe I should be playing with double figure when it wins. All right, we got 142 to the flag, 147. I might actually take this up and then take a little bit off of it. That's a better swing. A little bit, pulled it a little. Yeah, that's probably not going to be on the green. But that's not the worst position to be in. It is below the hole. I want it to be that side of the flag, but I would ideally want it to be on the green. going to roll up hasn't got enough legs that's not too bad I'm not disappointed with the par on the first hole it's a tough hole yeah, the pin position I mean I have to say guys this is probably one of the toughest courses I have played in the golf club too it has got really tight fairways the greens are really really slopy um, the pin positions pin set four is absolutely brutal so, yeah, I, I think it's going to be low scoring this week in relation to what it has been pre in previous weeks. You know, I don't think we're going to see a 16 under this week. 
but I think if anybody hooks a round up, you could be looking at a double figure round. That should be okay. That should be okay. Keeping it in the fairway and trying to hold the greens from the fairway on your approach shot is the hardest thing on this course. So giving yourself the, the best possible option here. Now, ideally we want to be below the pin, so that means on the left-hand side, but it is easier said than done. 118, what's well, playing 124. It's below the flag. Is it going to hold up though? Yeah, that's okay. Let's see if we can get this putt in. Yeah, okay. Just crept in the left edge. It's in. I'll be happy. Uh, I'm happy with that. It doesn't matter how they go in as long as they go in. So as you can see, I am the first person to play. Oh, beautiful wind now. Three mile an hour. I really need to try and make hay while the sun shines. 205. It's playing 190. Sorry, 210. It's playing 203. I don't know if that's going to be enough club, you know. All right, it's away. Let's see what happens. I took quite a lot off that. I don't think it's going to stop in time, though. No, that's unless it hits a good slope and holds up. That's just going to roll out. That 192 club was sort of in between i really didn't know whether it was going to stop so it leaves me with another chip shot too big oh too big that's a downhill slope you see that's the problem with this if you go remotely long it's going to roll away Look at this. Look at this, guys. And this is the problem with this. And this is that birdie that I just picked up. I'm now going to hand this straight back. 21 yards. I'm now 38 feet from the flag. It is, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy, this course. It is so, so tough. And I barely got that up the slope. So that's going to be a bogey. So the bogey free round is out the window. Back to level par. Still early doors though. We're on hole number three. We're on hole number four now. Let's see. This is a par five. Let's see if we can get this going. Get it straight back. Now this is a tough one because... It is reachable in two, but you really have to hug the left-hand side of the fairway. The problem with doing that is that you run the risk of going in the rough. Yeah, it's so difficult to hold that left-hand side of the fairway. I mean, I couldn't have got much closer to the left, and it's rolled all the way around to the right. Now... It is possible. The question is, how much we need to loft this right up. It's up and over the tree. I did push it a little, but that should be enough to get us on the green, is it? Yep, that's okay. That is okay. 
This is an eagle putt, but look at the slope once more. This is absolutely brutal. And the thing is, because it's downhill, if you get this going too far, you could go miles past the flag. Just going to get this rolling and just get it in the vicinity. See, it's still rolling, still rolling. That's okay. You know what? I'm happy with that. That is such a tough shot. Back to one under par. Through four. Hole number five. Tough hole. It's tough to keep this one in the fairway. Lofted that all the way up just to try and get over these trees. Yeah, right on the left-hand side of the fairway. That's going to roll nicely out of the shadows. And we should have about 115 yards, I think. Oh, no, sorry. 100 and... Must be a different hole I'm thinking of. We've got 184 to the flag. Playing 191. do with a decent roll here it is uphill so it's going to slow up quite quickly probably shouldn't have taken that or added that extra loft on there but I'm below the hole which is good it's going to move from the left a little oh dear that was so close so close So right, tidy up for a par. One under through five. Hole number six, par four. Now, this one is a tricky one because I played this earlier into an 11 mile an hour wind and it did hold up. So let's see if it holds up. Oh no, I've hit a slow. This is going to be... Awful. Oh my goodness me, this round's going from bad to worse. From bad to worse. Why, why, why? I know it's heavy rough, but, and it's a par four, this is going to be diabolical diabolical yeah no good no good at all So that, I think, was for par. Yeah, so this is for bogey. And that's back to level par. So two bogeys already in six holes. Two birdies, two bogeys, and back to level par. So we are not going to be on a good score at the moment. If it keeps going like this, I'm giving shots back left, right, and center. I cannot believe I hit a slow there. Unusual. I think this is the one that works out at about 115 yards. I might have it right this time. No, still not right. <laughs> I've not got this right at all, have I?
Alright, that should be below the hole. Yeah. Fourteen feet. And that didn't turn at all, but despite that, we didn't have enough power anyway, so wouldn't have made any difference. Alright, now this, for me, even though it says stroke index 4, this is by far the toughest hole on the course. I don't care what anybody says, this hole is brutal. And I think it's all down to the pin position. It is so, so difficult. But look at this. Just watch this ball roll now. Alright, that came up short, but look how far right that's gone. Anywhere, anywhere on this green, unless you get it right next to the flag, it will roll down to the right-hand side towards the water. Oh, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. That was the most unlikely birdie. One under through eight. All right, so if you watched Catalos 1991's video the other day where he played with some of his subscribers, he spoke about that tree in the middle of the fairway, which apparently is no longer there. And apparently it's quite a, an iconic tree on the course, but um, it died from what I could uh, from what I could gather from the conversation. So they had to remove it. Apparently the stump still sits in the fairway, but uh, yeah, it was uh, quite interesting. Interesting. That's the first time I've actually come up short here. I've gone long every single time there. So that's a, that's a first. And that's not too bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. Right, so we finished the front line one under par. So we have one of the two criteria, and that is having an under par round. This is another really, really long, long par five, and it is not quite reachable in two. I think it may be if the wind was behind you off the tee. But um, I've yet to have a tee shot where the wind is behind me. It's either blowing left or to blowing to the left or to the right but it normally leaves about 290 yards to the flag and it's on an uphill lie yeah 277 we may be able to get there but that uphill lie does take some yardage off of it it may trickle onto the front let's see Depends on the bounce we get here. It's kicked forward nicely. That's okay. That is okay. In fact, that's gone a good 25 feet past the flag. So we're going to have an eagle putt. It's going to die to the left at the end. 19 feet. That's not too bad. And it's flat. Oh. 
Oh, it didn't move. It didn't move at all to the left. I thought that was just going to literally, at the death, just dive to the left and then drop into the cut. But it didn't move according to the lines. But it's in. We got a birdie. We're still under par. What would have been if we'd have kept those other two birdies? But hey, we can't live on what would have been. Let's loft this up, see if we can bang this right over that tree. I'm hoping we can. Oh shit, the bed! I have not hit a wild shot like that for God knows how long. My goodness me, where on earth did that come from? This is going to be an interesting shot. A very interesting shot, because I'm going to have to try and punch this out. No, I haven't played, I've never played a shot like this before. So I'm trying to hit a punch shot with a lie that's going to kick the ball to the left and I'm trying to hit a fade to try and bring it round to the right. So this could go anywhere. That is not a bad outcome. That is not, after that wild tee shot, my goodness me, I have no idea where that came from. Oh my goodness, that is god awful. I am playing such a poor round. Whew. What a shocking hole. All right, par three. Many a time I've been in the water and many a time I've been in the bunker on the right hand side. So this is a, this is another tough par three. I've hit a fast, and the likelihood is this is going to come up short. Oh, no, it's going long. It hit the flag. Can you believe that? It hit the flag. Thank goodness for that, otherwise it would have been very, very long. That was a fortuitous birdie. If it wasn't for the flag, I would have been off the other side of the green. So I, I, I thank my lucky stars for that one. That was one that I really did not deserve. And that is, that's three under par. All right, wind has completely disappeared. Get this up nice and high, see if we can carry it over those trees. Not quite, it's gonna go through though. Is it gonna stop? Yeah, beautiful, that is right on the edge of the fairway. Fairly lucky to get through those trees without too much grief. 133, probably playing 132. We've got 130 yards carry. should take one bounce and then check which it has done that's okay could have been a couple of yards longer but that's all right yeah happy with that that's four under 
you have to look back on the earlier nine, the back, sorry, the front nine, and think what could have been if I didn't get those two bogeys. But you know what? There could have been an awful lot more bogeys on this round. So I'm thankful for what I've got. Four under par. Pretty pleased with that at the moment. Hopefully the wind straightens that out. Is it going to be long enough? It is. It's just going to creep on the front of the green. Question is, is it going to hold? I think it might. It's going to be a long putt. Probably 20, 25 feet. 22 feet. Not a lot of movement though. But don't want to go too long, otherwise it's going to roll away. There's movement both left and right. So let's try and go fairly straight with this one. Should come back. Oh, don't go too long. It's downhill there, 27. It's gone five feet past. Let's hope the putt back isn't too brutal. No, we're in. Ooh. Okay, no wind, it's dropped down again. Good stuff. Just gotta make sure I hit it straight. I still can't get over how wild that shot was that I hit earlier. As I say, I don't think I've hit one like that for a good long time. That's just stopped before the rough. Should have, it's a fairly flat lie as well. 173. Plus seven, that's 180 yards. But that pin position, look at the false front on that green. Anything short is just going to come straight back off. Oh, very slow. My God, what is going on? What is going on? Jeez. And now I've put myself under all sorts of unnecessary pressure just to try and get this out the bunker and get it close. Oh, that's going to be another bogey. At the very least, because that is going to be a par putt that is going to be brutally awful. I have to say, I, as much as I'm enjoying this series, I have not enjoyed this course. I haven't enjoyed practicing it, and I haven't enjoyed playing the round on it. And it's not the wind, it's just, it's such a tough course. And having not played particularly well, I mean, and I haven't played well, some of those shots that I've hit today have not been good at all. I mean, I've sliced, I've hit a very slow, and it's very, very uncharacteristic. Especially when you can hit a drive like that. And that should get a nice kick and end up in the fairway. Don't want to be too far on down the left-hand side because it makes this shot very, very tough. This is a reachable par 5, but you really have to try and draw it around the trees. Now, we have a little bit of assistance from the wind. Um, and I feel like I have to go for it because of the fact that I've just dropped shots left, right and centre. And I've completely lost that. I have no idea where that is. And that, that was too much of a draw. So now I've got a risky sand shot which I'm not particularly fond of at the best of times which I've got to be fair I've hit that pretty well question is can we still manage the birdie out of this debacle
No. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I just want this round done now. I just want this round over and done. I have completely, completely had the worst round. Is that going to hold the fairway? Is it going to hold the fair? Oh, goodness me, it gets worse and worse. What a bounce, man. What a bounce. Come on. Give me a break. Way too long. I almost feel like I want that to roll off the green because that is going to be such a long putt. Yeah. And you know what? I'm not even lining these up anymore. I'm just going to hit it. <laughs> that is sod's law. That is sod's law. Unbelievable. And the winds drop to zero. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can get this out there. This is a par five. We're four under par. It's not going to be a winning score, but let's see if we can pick up. It's so difficult this one because you really, really need to stay clear of those bunkers. But it's tough. Oh my goodness me! A fast, fast, a fast, fast. So we ain't going to be reaching this in two because we're going to be in the heavy, heavy rough. That pretty much, and it's giving me a pitch. What on earth? I'm just going to try and get this back into the fairway. A fast, fast. I haven't. I don't think I've ever hit a fast, fast. I've hit a fast, slow. My swing has been absolutely putrid during this round. Absolutely putrid. So I pushed that, even though the slope was going to pull that back to the left. It's on the green. It's a tough putt for birdie, though. Let's see if we if we hit it straight. So let's just go for the. Let's just go for broke. No, it went both ways, but it was going more to the right than it was to the left. That is a poor round. Guys, I, you know what? I am really, really sorry for such a poor, poor showing at this, uh, at this event. That round was probably the worst one I played. Four under par is... You know what? I don't think it's too bad round this course. I got a couple of lucky breaks. That 46-foot putt, that was a lucky break. Hitting the flag, I think, on... I can't remember the whole number. That was a lucky break. But I leapt out a couple of times. I went in the water. I went in the bunkers. I, I it was a bad round. It was a bad round. And uh, on behalf, because I'm obviously being in the Four Nations and representing England, I feel like I've let the side down. Um, not a good. Didn't wasn't a good account to myself. Let's be honest. But if you enjoyed the video, if you somehow enjoyed the video, smash that like button, guys. Please do. They're always appreciated. I do appreciate all the likes that I get, all the comments I get as well, and I respond to all the comments, as you guys very well know. If you've yet to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you'd like to get notified when any new videos and live streams go up. And also, check out 58 Degree. That's my, uh, that's my new channel. If you can look at it, well, you can look at it through the website, which is uh, 58degree.co.uk. That's the number 58 the word degree.co.uk. You'll see links there to, there to the PGA, the current PGA 
leaderboard, the current European Tour leaderboard, the links to the 58 Degree Twitter channel, the links to the 58 Degree YouTube channel. And if you also want to add me as a friend on 58 Degree, because soon on the PSN I'm going to be moving all the golf videos across onto the 58 Degree channel. It is 50, the word 50, the number 8, the word degree, and it's all in one long word. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this once again. I will see you on the next video. I hope that Lee, Phil and Cole Hill can... <laughs> I'm not even going to say can. I hope they can do better because it is almost guaranteed that they will do better than four under par. I don't expect anything more than last place this week. Um, if, I, if I do get better than last place, it will be an absolute miracle and somebody else will need to have a melt, meltdown of similar degrees to what I had today. But until next time, guys, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye now.